students this is the fourth video lecture of chapter 10 mensuration class 6 max okay so in the previous video lecture what things we discussed was about perimeter okay the new term introduced to us was perimeter we you know in the last lecture that means the part 3 of this video lecture i discussed regarding the solved examples okay i made you solve each solved example okay similarly in the same way i would be making you solve each and every question of exercise 10.1 okay now see you you know you are already since you are very smart students i know very well okay so you know you are you know from the part 1 i think most of you from the part 1 are with me you have seen part 1 part 2 part 3 and now you are in watching me in part 4 but those who haven't watched these previous three videos they should make sure that they are attending only if the basic concept of perimeter is clear to them if not please check it out the previous videos okay not essentially part 3 because it you know basically talks about solved examples in case if you feel like that you know you are not good enough you, your concepts are not clear you must watch part 3 also but i highly recommend you to watch part 1 and 2 to you know make the foundation of your concept okay so after building up the foundation then you try to solve the questions it would be more you know trust me it would be much more easier comparatively to you know solving without understanding the concept and formulas okay so we have you know i won't be making you you know revise the concept by solving each question you would be automatically revising if your concept is clear again i am saying before watching this please do ensure that your concepts regarding perimeter what it is how can we calculate if different questions are given how can we solve this portion would be clear in part 3 so you you know if you are not you can watch and then come to this video so here we are going to start with exercise 10.1 in this video lecture i am aiming to you know complete exercise 10.1 plus i would be giving you some extra questions okay some extra questions at the end of this video so be with me till the end okay so where the extra questions regarding these exercise would be provided to you along with you know not complete solution but answers of course and in case if you feel any difficulty in that questions you can you know always write a comment to me or you can write or send me a mail regarding any of your doubt to the mail address given in the description below okay so uh, now you know without wasting much time let us start exercise 10.1 in which the question 1 says find the perimeter of each of the following figures these are some figures given there there are 5 to 6 figures given okay if we calculate f then it's 6 So there are six different figures given with their parameters. Okay, their length, about breadth, or any of their sign. You know the length of each and every side of the given figures have been provided to you. Now, your task is to find the perimeter. As I said, if your concept is clear, you must be aware of what is perimeter. Ma'am, what are you talking about? We are now, you know, reached up to part four. so how there be you know a misconception that we won't be knowing the perimeter absolutely you are knowing perimeter let us recall a little what is perimeter perimeter is the total area total area okay along the boundary of that closed figure you know when you move to the total area am i correct na okay so if you are nodding your head in yes mode so i would be saying no i am saying total area is the perimeter total area no the perimeter is the total distance okay so the perimeter is the total distance covered by that you know covered by you or you know during calculation once you have to once you have to move you know complete you know complete the one long distance okay along the boundary of the closed figure that makes your perimeter okay so if i take you know this figure so the total distance starting with one point suppose let us consider this point 
so you know you start from this point and come again to this point this makes one complete lump that says perimeter so if i want to calculate this so perimeter would be total length so perimeter of the given figure is equal to what we would be doing simply adding all the sides provided starting from here this side is 1 cm plus this side is 2 cm plus this side is 3 cm plus this side is i i mean sorry this side is 4 cm this side is 5 cm now you have to add all these 2 plus 1 3 plus 4 7 7 plus 5 12 12 centimeter so 12 centimeter is the perimeter of the given figure now you are aware of this if i ask you to calculate this it would be very easy for you okay again perimeter is equal to perimeter of the figure given in question b is let us start from here 23 centimeter plus 35 centimeter plus 40 centimeter plus 35 centimeter okay so 35 plus 35 70 70 plus 40 110 110 plus 23 133 okay so 133 centimeter 133 centimeter clear so these two questions have the same basic to solve or they have the same concept to solve that means adding the distance or the length of each side now if we talk about this figure in which each side is same and is equal to 15 centimeter so since the side or the length of each side is equal we can consider it as a regular shape so perimeter perimeter of regular shape of regular shape is equal to is equal to number of sides into given side given side is 15 centimeter how many sides are there in this closed figure 1 2 3 4 so 4 into 15 that would be 60 centimeter so 60 centimeter is the perimeter of this figure again if you observe this these two questions are linked they are the same that means perimeter of regular shape here it would be regular regular hexagon pentagon heptagon what would be how would you be knowing so calculate the number of sides 1 2 3 4 5 5 sides so regular pentagon regular pentagon so perimeter of regular pentagon is since pentagon five sides the so number of sides into length of each side so length of each side is given that is 4 cm so that equals to 20 cm so 20 cm is the perimeter of the given closed regular shape okay next if we calculate if you want to calculate the perimeter of this object or you know this shape how can we calculate? So we have to consider one initial point. Let us consider this point as A. Okay. And if you recall, this kind of question has already been provided to your solved example. Are you able to recall? Okay. So let us consider this A point. We have to start moving along the length of this. We will be moving like this, like this, like this, like this. Are you following the track? Okay, so you know ultimately my aim is to reach again to the A point. Okay, so we start with A. Okay, so perimeter, perimeter of given figure, of given figure is equal to, okay, let us start writing. First is, let us start from the 
right hand side of A, 1 cm plus moving down 3 cm plus 2 cm plus 3 cm plus 4 cm plus 1 cm plus 3 cm plus 2 cm plus 3 cm plus 4 cm plus 1 cm plus 3 cm plus 2 cm plus 3 cm plus 4 cm plus 1 cm plus 3 cm plus 2 cm plus 3 cm plus 4 cm and we reach to point A. How monotonous the song was then? 1 cm plus 2 cm. Okay, I really enjoyed. I think you also. Let us start calculating. Okay, so 1 plus 3, 4 plus 2, 6 plus 3, 9 plus 4 plus 4, 13, 13 plus 1, 14, 14 plus 3, 17, 17 plus 2, 19, 19 plus 3, 21, 19 plus 3, 21. 22, 22 plus 4, 26, 26 plus 1, 27, 27 plus 3, 30, 30 plus 2, 32, 32 plus 3, 35, 35 plus 4, 39, 39 plus 1, 40, 40 plus 3, 43, 43 plus 2, 45, 45 plus 3, 48, 48 plus 4, 40, oh, 54. 48 plus 4, I think 52, right? Yes, 52. 52 centimeter. Okay, not 54, but 52 centimeter. So, this is how, you know, you have to calculate. Okay, basically, you know, ऐसा क्वेश्चन देने का वो नहीं है कि तुम्हारा कैलकुलेशन चेक कर रहे हैं बट हियर दे आर प्रोवाइडिंग दिस काइंड ऑफ क्वेश्चन टू मेक श्योर दैट यू नो देयर आर देयर माइट बी चांसेस व्हाइल काउंटिंग यू थॉट यू वर हियर बट एक्चुअली यू हैव रीच टिल हियर यू नो देयर माइट बी मिसकंसेप्शन सो टू मेक यू कंफ्यूज दिस काइंड ऑफ क्वेश्चंस आर हियर सो यू हैव टू बी वेरी काम व्हाइल सॉल्विंग दिस क्वेश्चन वेरी अटेंटिव ओके एंड यू नो कैलकुलेशन इज वेरी इजी एज आई मेड यू do like this okay so we move down to next e first i made you do f then you have to do e so try okay you you should first pause try and then resume to see what the answer would be and is the answer matching with you if yes well then bravo and if not then you have to check where you have been mistaken okay let's Start, you know, again you choose one point. Let us choose this point as point A. Start with this, move here, again here, this side, this side, and you reach again point A. Okay, so perimeter of given figure, perimeter of given figure equal to, start writing from here, 1 centimeter plus 4 centimeter plus write down 0.5 centimeter so here would be 0.5 centimeter plus 2.5 centimeter again 2.5 centimeter plus 0.5 centimeter plus 4 centimeter you solve this, you would be getting the answer. Okay, so let us solve. Okay, 4 plus 1, 5. Okay, now you see, 0.5 plus 0.5, 1, half plus half, 1, so plus 1. Okay, then, so if you do plus 1 to 5, it would be 6. 
6 plus, now see, 2.5 plus 2.5, that is 5, that is total 5, okay. So, 6 plus 5, 11, 11 plus 4, 15, okay. So, your answer would be 15 centimeter, 4 plus 1, 5, okay, so you, 5 centimeter, of the question 0 0.5, so 0 0.5, okay. 2.5 You know that you feel like I have done it quickly It was not quickly But you know Like this Okay Like that Like that 2.5 2.5 0.5 4 1 I have 5 Okay 4 and 1 5 And 4 Okay So 1, 2, 3, 4 5 4 is 20 You know 5 1 Oh sorry, 4 by 5 ko add karo, ya 4 se multiply karo, 20, okay, next, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 8 plus 5, 13, 13 plus 2, 15, so answer would be 15 centimeter, clear, okay, just a minute, moving down to next question, okay, so this was first question, we have finished the, you know, sub questions of the first question. Moving down to second question which says, The lid of a rectangular box. So, here, rectangular box. So, the shape which we have to consider is rectangle. Okay. Size 40 by 10 centimeter. Which one is longer? 40. So, length is 40 centimeter. And breadth is 10 cm. Always breadth is less than the length of the particular shape. Is sealed all around with tape. What is the length of the tape required? To seal kiya iske box ko all around. Okay, so that means we have to calculate perimeter. So perimeter as we have learned again. Again recalling the formula. So, perimeter of rectangle is equal to 2 into length plus breadth. Okay. So, 2 into what is the length? 40 centimeter plus what is the breadth? 10 centimeter. First, we would be solving the bracket. 40 plus 10, 50 centimeter. Then, we would be multiplying 2 into 50, 2 fives are 10, 8 zero ki cheka. 100 centimeter. So, 100 centimeter is the length of the tape required to seal the lid of this rectangular box. Clear? Easy. Moving down to next question. A table top measures 2 meter 25 centimeter by 1 meter 50 centimeter. What is the perimeter of the table top? So again, since we have been given length, we have been given breadth. So the shape of the table top is nothing but rectangular. Breadth is 1 meter 50 centimeter and length is 2 meter 25 centimeter. Okay? So... Now to make calculation easy, we have to either take the length and breadth in meter or in centimeter. Okay, so I choose to take length and breadth in centimeter. We know, we know 1 meter is equal to 100 centimeter. We know 1 meter is equal to 100 centimeter. So if I take this. 1 meter 50 centimeter. So, in that I have to convert this 1 meter into centimeter. And as I know that 1 meter is equal to 100 centimeter, that means 1 meter 50 centimeter can be written as 100 centimeter plus 50 centimeter. That is 150 centimeter. Are you getting? Sir, 1 meter ke jaga mein 100 kar diya. और फिर वो 100 को 50 के साथ ऐड किया तो मुझे ब्रेथ जो मिली वो सेंटीमीटर में मिल गई दैट इज 150 सेंटीमीटर आर 
are you clear with this okay so now if we talk about so you know now instead of writing 1 f meter 50 centimeter i would be instead writing what 150 or is 150 centimeter now i have to convert the length into meter i know that 1 meter is 100 centimeter so if i want to convert 2 meter 25 centimeter into centimeter then then the 2 meter bhi hai barabar 1 meter 100 centimeter to 2 meter kitna hoga 200 centimeter plus 25 centimeter that is 225 centimeter so the length of the table top in terms of centimeter is nothing but but instead of writing this you can write 225 cm. I hope you are getting this conversion. And always, by solving the question, the conversion which I did here, you have to mention that in your answer, obviously. Yeah, na? Now, again, if you want to calculate, now the things become easy. Okay? The same thing. If you want to calculate the perimeter of table top. So, perimeter of table top is equal to, since it is rectangle, the formula would be followed as 2 into length plus breadth. So, that equals to, that equals to 2 into, what is the length? 2 to 5 centimeter plus breadth kya hai? 150 centimeter. So, again, 2 to 5 plus 150 so 5 plus 0, 5, 5 plus 2, 7, 2 plus 1, 3. Okay. So that is 2 into 375 centimeter. That is, okay, that is 2, 5 is a 10, 2, 7 is a 14 plus 1, 15, 2, 3 is a 6 plus 1, 750 centimeter. 750 centimeter is the perimeter of the table top. Okay, moving down to the next question. What is the length of the wooden strip required to frame a photograph of length and breadth? 32 centimeter and 21 centimeter respectively. So, if we want to calculate the yeah, photo frame there. So, photo frame ko boundary pe kya laga hua hai? wooden strip lagi hui hai. Wo wooden strip ka length or breadth diya hai. We have to calculate the total length of that strip. Okay. So, that means we have to calculate the perimeter of wooden strip. That is, that is total length of wooden strip. And since it is in rectangular because we have been given the length and breadth. So, it would be following the same formula that of rectangle that is 2 into length plus breadth. So, that is equal to 2 into what is the length? 32 centimeter plus breadth 21 centimeter. Okay. So, 2 into 32 plus 21 53 centimeter. So, 2 into 53 2 3 is a 6. 2 pi is a 10, 106 centimeter. So, 106 centimeter is the perimeter or is the total length of wooden strip which is, you know, framing the photograph. Okay, which is framing the photograph. Next, a rectangular piece. Again, rectangle is given. Of land measures 0.7 kilometer by 0 0.5 kilometer okay so the length is length is 0 0.5 or 7 you let me know okay you first of all let me know can i write 0 0.5 as 5 by 10 and can i write 0 by 0 0.7 as 7 by 10 which one is greater 7 by 10 so, length is 0 0.7 kilometer, breadth is 0 0.5 or is, I should write like this, right? 0 0.5 kilometer, okay. So, what they are asking for, each side to be fenced with 4 rows of wire, 4 rows, that means 4 times, okay, like this, like 
फेंसिंग करना होगा तो मैं यहां से पॉइंट से स्टार्ट करती चलो तो ये वन टू थ्री फोर वापिस वही पॉइंट पे आ गए मतलब ये मैंने एक बार फेंस किया ऐसा कितनी बार किया चार बार फेंसिंग किया फोर टाइम्स द फेंसिंग हैज बीन डन इफ वी कैलकुलेट वन टाइम and multiply by 4 we would be getting the total length of the wire what did i say ki if i am able to find one round bhai ek round mein kitni wire lagi to main char baar measure karne se acha hai ek baar ka nikal do aur usko char se multiply kar do if not again let us start i guess by solving you would be better able to know so let us first calculate the perimeter of this land okay rectangular piece of land so perimeter of land which is rectangular in shape is by using formula 2 into length plus breadth okay so that equals to 2 into what is the length being provided 0.7 km plus what is the breadth provided 0. 5 किलोमीटर, ओके? नेक्स्ट, 2 इनटू 0.7 प्लस 0.5 इस 1.2, एम आई करेक्ट? एम आई करेक्ट? चेक इट आउट, चेक इट आउट, ओके? दैट इक्वल्स टू 2.4 किलोमीटर, 2 टू जा 4 देन पॉइंट 2 2.4 किलोमीटर इज द इज द यू नो लेंथ ऑफ वायर रिक्वायर्ड फॉर फेंसिंग इन वन रो बट इट इज यू नो द फार्मर और द पर्सन इज डूइंग यू नो इज फेंसिंग इट फोर टाइम्स दैट मींस वी वुड बी मल्टीप्लाइंग इट विद फोर दैट इक्वल्स टू 4 4 16 4 to the 8 plus 1 9 9.6 km again showing the multiply 2.4 into 4 4 to the 16 4 to the 8 plus 1 9 dekho point ke baad ek number hai theek hai to point ke baad ek number laga do theek hai so this basic multiplication you are already aware okay so 9.6 km is the total length of wire required for complete fencing of that particular rectangular piece of land okay so we move down to the next set of questions so the next set of questions are sixth question c find the perimeter of each of the following shapes the shape are given a triangle of side 3 cm 4 cm and 5 cm let us consider a triangle let us consider a triangle 3 cm 4 cm and 5 cm we have to calculate perimeter that means we have to sum up the length of all the sides okay so perimeter of the triangle is equal to is equal to 3 cm plus 4 cm plus 5 cm okay 3 plus 4 7 plus 5 12 12 cm is the perimeter of the triangle next an equilateral triangle of 9 cm equilateral means the side of the length of each side of this equilateral triangle is same that is 9 cm 9 cm 9 cm so since since this shape is having all the side the length of all the sides are equal so we can write perimeter of regular shape and that is what is its formula number of sides into length of each side how many number of sides 3 length of each side is 9 9 3 3 27 27 cm is the perimeter of that equilateral triangle moving down to next an isosceles triangle what is an isosceles triangle 
in which the two sides are equal and the third side is different. Okay. So let's suppose this side is A. So this side is also A. But the third side is different B. So they have given that there is an isosceles triangle. Equal sides are of length 8 centimeter. That means... This side and this side both are 8 centimeter and the third side is 6 centimeter. Third side is 6 centimeter. Are you getting isosceles triangle means the triangle having two sides equal and the third side is different from that two length of the two sides. Okay. So I consider perimeter of given isosceles triangle that is 8 centimeter plus 8 centimeter plus 6 centimeter 8 plus 8 16 16 plus 6 22 centimeter done so this was question 6 there are sub questions moving down to 7th which says find the perimeter of this represents triangle sorry for the short form but due to lack of space i have to write triangle in this form okay so find the perimeter of the triangle with sides measuring 10 cm 14 cm and 15 cm so first of all we would be considering a triangle with different sides that is 10 cm 14 cm and 15 cm we have to calculate perimeter. Simply just we have to add. So perimeter of the given triangle is equal to 10 centimeter plus 14 centimeter plus 15 centimeter. What would be the answer? See. 5 plus 4, 9. 1 plus 2, 5 plus 4, 9 plus 0, 9. 1 plus 1 plus 1, 3. 39 centimeter is the perimeter of the given triangle. Next, find the perimeter of regular hexagon with each side measuring 8 centimeter. So, we have been given hexagon. Okay, we have been given hexagon. Each side is measuring 8 meter. Okay, so since it is regular hexagon, what is the formula for perimeter of regular shape? Number of side into length of each side given. So, how many number of sides are there in a hexagon? 6. Into length of each side is 8 meter. So, 8, 6 is 48 meter. Is the perimeter of the given figure. Next, find the side of square whose perimeter is 20 meter. Okay. So, we have to find the side of the square. And the total length of the square is 20 meter. So we know that perimeter, since the square is a regular shape, why? Because all its sides are equal. So perimeter of square is 4 into length of each side. Suppose the length of each side is A. So that is 4A. We have been given perimeter as 20 meter. So we would be substituting the value 20 meter equal to 4 into the side, length of side which we have to calculate. Since here it is multiplication, okay. So when I make this 4 come to this side of the equal to sign, what would happen? Here the 4 is multiplying. So when I would be taking this 4 to this side, it would be division. So 20 divided by 4 is equal to A. This can also be written as A is equal to 20 by 4. So, 4 1s are 4 5s are. So, A that is the length of each side of square. Length of each side of square is equal to how much? Is equal to 5 centimeter. 5 centimeter. Okay. Done? Are you with me? Okay. I hope I am going fluent enough. Moving down to next. The perimeter of regular pentagon. Okay. So that means regular pentagon means all the five sides of this particular pentagon are equal. And the side, each side is 100 centimeter. That means 1 meter. 
Okay, so how long is it each side? Oh, sorry, I, I must finish. Okay, so here they have given that the perimeter, the perimeter of this, you know, total distance is this, 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 this is this length is hundred meter. Okay. So similarly, this question is related to this only, you know. So perimeter of regular shapes here is pentagon. So number of side into length of each side. Let us consider the length of this side be B. Okay, so B. B, B, you know. Will be E value. Let the length of this side is B. Okay, so perimeter is given 100 centimeter is equal to 5 into B. We have to calculate B. Here 5 is multiplying with B. If I want to take this 5 to this side so that I can get the value of B. Here it is multiplication. When I move this towards left hand side, it would be dividing. I can write like this. B is equal to 100 by 5. So 5 ones are 5 to 0. 20. Okay, 20 centimeter. So the length of each side of regular pentagon, of given regular pentagon is 20 centimeter. Clear? Moving on to next question. A piece of string is 30 centimeter long. What will be the length of each side if a string is used to form a square? Man, your total length is 30 centimeter. If 30 centimeter, you have a string. Hai. Usi string se tum square bana. 30 centimeter long bhi string se tumne square banaya. So, I will tell you square ka perimeter kya hoga. So, kya bolo ge? 30 centimeter. Because the total length of string required to make this square is 30 centimeter. Okay. So, perimeter, perimeter of square is, perimeter of square is 4 into length of each side. Let us consider. Okay. The length of one side of square is A. So, 4 into A. We know that perimeter of this square is 30 centimeter. That equals to 4 into A. We have to calculate the side of, length of, side of square. So, that implies, here it is in multiplication. When I will be taking 4 to the left hand side, it would be dividing. Okay. So, 30 Divide by 4 centimeter is equal to A. We can also write it as A is equal to 30 by 4. Okay? 4 ke table mein 30 aata hai? Nahi aata. So, kya karoge? Kya karoge? So, you know, you know this kind of division, na? Let us take here. 30 divide by 4. Okay? So, 4, 6 are 24 loo. 4 7s are 28. And 4 8s are 32. So 4 7s are 28. Minus karing a. 10 minus a. 2. Yap is 0 dialing a. So yap is point dialing a. 4 ka table no 20 ka bata hai. 5s are. So 4 5s are 20. Minus karing a 0. So how many answer kya mila? 7.5. So that is. 7.5 centimeter. So, length of each side of square is 7.5 centimeter. Yeah, answer. Tabhi nikal paoge, jab ye kar paoge solve. Thik hai? Kyunki iske aad pata tumhye pata hai kaise solve karna isse pahle ke do hum isi tarah se kar kya hai. Hai na? Hume perimeter diya hai regular shape ka. Hume uski ek side ka length find karna hai. Aise hi dousra example diya hai. Usme bhi tum nekho. Equilateral triangle. ठीक है? यानी equilateral मतलब उस triangle के सारे side same है. मैं यही 30 centimeter long string को you know equilateral triangle के shape में रख रही हूँ. तो इसका total length कितना है? 30 centimeter. Total length बोल रहे हैं मतलब perimeter of this particular equilateral triangle is 30. क्योंकि ये regular shape है, क्योंकि इसके सारे side equal है, तो मैं बोल सकती हूँ कि perimeter is equal to number of sides 1, 2, 3 into length of each side. Let the length of each side be A. So A, perimeter kya hai? 30 centimeter is equal to 3 into length of each side. Okay? So, in multiplication mein idhar aega to division. 
30 divided by 3 centimeters is equal to a. Can I write like this also? A is equal to 30 by 3 centimeter. That is 10 centimeter. So length of each side of equilateral triangle is 10 centimeter. ठीक है? तुमने कहा इसका ये side 10 centimeter है, ये भी 10 centimeter है, ये भी 10 centimeter है. Perimeter लो 10 plus 10, 20 plus 10, 30. आ गया 30 centimeter. समझ आ रहा है? This is the way you know you have to proceed. Okay? Moving down to next. Moving down to next. A regular hexagon. A regular hexagon. So, what do you think? What would be the number of sides required to make a regular hexagon? Six sides. Okay? So, this is your hexagon. Again, since they are talking about regular, each side of this hexagon is equal. Okay? So, perimeter of regular hexagon is the number of sides. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. 6 into, into the length of each side. Let us consider the length of each side as A. क्योंकि मैंने 30 cm long string को यूज करके hexagon का shape दिया. तो इसका total जो length है, वो है 30 cm. So, 30 cm is equal to 6 into A. So, that implies, यहाँ पे multiplication में, जब equal to के इस side आएगा तो divide करेगा. So, 30 divided by 6 cm is equal to A. I can also write like this, A is equal to 30 by 6 cm, that is 5 cm. So, length of each side of this hexagon is 5 cm. Clear? Okay, next question is, two sides of triangle are, triangle ke do side ka hume length diya. Let us consider this triangle. Length of one side is 12 cm. Length of another side is 14 cm. Chalo 14 cm le liya. Pol raha hai, the perimeter of triangle is 36 cm. So, perimeter of triangle is sum of all the sides. What is the length of third side? Ye wala hume find karna hai. हमें perimeter दिया है, हमें दो side दिया है, let us consider the third side be x, okay, be x centimeter, so 12 centimeter plus 14 centimeter plus x centimeter is the perimeter of triangle, we know the value of perimeter of this particular triangle by the question which says that it is 36 cm. Let us substitute the value 36 cm. 12 plus 14, 26 cm plus x cm. To find the value of x cm, I have to move this 26 from right hand side of equal to to left hand side of equal to sign. Okay. So when I would be moving here, here it is adding. So when it is this way, what will Subtracting. So, 36 minus 26 centimeter equal to x centimeter. That implies x centimeter equals to 36 minus 26, 10 centimeter. Okay. So, the length of third side of the given triangle is 10 centimeter. You can cross check. Ki bhai, yaan pe mene 10 centimeter dala. To kya perimeter 36 hota hai? Dekho. 10 plus 14, 24, 24 plus 12, 4 plus 2, 6, 2 plus 1, 3, 36 centimeter. Agya perimeter. This is how the way you can cross check. You know, you can apply this cross check method to the previous questions which we have solved. Okay, moving down to next patch of questions. Okay, so here are the next patch of questions. Starting question, see. Find the cost of fencing of square part of side 250 meter at the rate of rupees 20 per meter. Okay, so you have to consider a square part. Let us consider a square part having side 250 meter. Having side 250 meter at the rate of rupees 20 per meter. We have to find the cost of fencing. That means 
to find the cost of fencing we first should know how much length of fencing is required and for knowing the length of fencing we must know the perimeter so first of all perimeter of square since square is a regular shape so number of sides 1 2 3 4 into length of each side 250 meter we can get the perimeter 4 zeros are 0 4 pies are 20 4 twos are 8 plus 2 10 that means 1000 meter so 1000 meter is the perimeter that means this much amount of fencing is required for this square part okay so this square part requires how much amount or what is the length of the fencing that is 1000 meter okay now it says that for 1 meter rupees 20 is spent by that particular farmer or you know the person who is owning this land or this square part okay so if 1 meter costs rupees 20 fencing of 1 meter costs rupees 20 so for 1000 meter how much you know cost did the you know owner of the square part has to spare okay so you know again this is a cross multiplication so 1000 multiplied by 20 divided by 1 1000 multiplied by 20 divided by 1 anything divided by 1 is the number itself so so cost of fencing is equal to rupees 2 ones are 2 how many zeros 1 2 3 4 1 2 3 4 4 rupees 20000 is you know required for fencing of this particular square part clear okay moving down to next question find the cost of rectangular part now instead of square part if that person is owning a rectangular part length 175 meter and breadth 125 meter okay we have to find you know the cost of the fencing which is rupees 12 per meter which is rupees 12 per meter okay so we know we know since the part is rectangular so to calculate the perimeter we require formula 2 into length plus breadth that is 2 multiply by what is the length 175 meter what is the breadth 125 meter okay so that equals to 2 into 175 plus 125 5 plus 5 10 7 plus 1 8 plus 2 8 sorry Plus two ten. One two three three hundred meter. Again in confusion. One seventy five plus one twenty five. Five plus five ten. Seven plus one eight plus two ten. One two three. Okay. Three hundred meter. Two into three six. Number of zeros two. So six hundred meter is the perimeter of this rectangular park. okay that means the boundary since fencing requires boundary you know we have to find the cost and the cost is given for 1 meter it is rupees 12 hai right? na for 1 meter it is rupees 12 so for 600 meter how much cost is required how much rupees is being required so again cross multiplication 600 multiply by 12 divide by 1 so 600 multiply by 12 divide by 1 anything divided by 1 is the number itself so cost for fencing is 600 into 12 okay 12 sixes are 72 two zeros 1 2 so rupees 7200 is required for fencing this particular rectangular park okay so these two questions were regarding what were based on you know the cost wala and the cross multiplication this was the new thing 
rest remain the same you know how you can calculate the perimeter you know which formula is to be used for which particular shape okay the new thing introduced in these two questions was how to find the cost okay by the concept of cross multiplication okay moving down to next sweety runs around a square park of 75 meter so two you know in this line two you know important information is given the park is square in shape and its size is 75 meter bulbul runs around a rectangular park with length 60 meter and breadth 45 meters now we have to find who covers less distance that means if i am considering a square park and if i am considering a rectangular park square park square park of size 75 meter and rectangular park of length 60 meter and breadth 45 meter okay so who covered less distance that means if we would be calculating the distance that means we would be calculating perimeter jiska perimeter kam that would be covering less distance okay so perimeter of square since square is a regular shape perimeter of square is number of sides 1 2 3 4 5 into length of each side that is 75 meter so 4 into 75 meter okay next here we would be calculating perimeter of rectangle so by formula we know perimeter of rectangle is 2 into length plus breadth okay so if i you know calculate this 75 into 4 5 4 24 7 28 2 30 300 meter is the total distance covered by sweety and 2 into what is the length 60 meter plus breadth 45 meter okay so that is 2 into 0 plus 5 5 6 plus 4 10 1 0 meter 2 multiply by 1 0 5 2 5 0 10 2 0 0 1 2 1 0 2 2 1 0 meter So this is the distance covered by bulbul. So who covered less distance? Obviously you can see bulbul covered less distance. Okay, easy. Just you have to calculate the perimeter and then you have to compare. Okay. Next, what is the perimeter of each of the following figures? And then you know after calculating each figure, you know perimeter of each figure, then they are asking. what do you infer from the answer okay so let us start one by one calculating the perimeter of first square having side 25 cm okay so perimeter of square is perimeter of square is square kya hoga ki jo given side hai multiply by total number of side square has four side 1 2 3 4 so 4 into length of each side is 25 cm so 5 fours are 20 4 to the 8 plus 2 10 so 100 cm this is the perimeter for square if i take perimeter of this rectangle so perimeter perimeter of rectangle according to formula what it would be 2 into length plus breadth so what is the length of the given rectangle 30 cm what is the breadth of given rectangle 20 cm okay so 2 into 30 plus 20 50 cm that is equal to 2 into 50 100 cm okay this is the perimeter of this next rectangle with length 40 cm breadth 100 cm again perimeter perimeter of rectangle how can we calculate by the formula 2 into length plus breadth so 
टू इंटू वट इज दर्टी सेंटीमीटर वट इज द्रेड टेन सेंटीमीटर ओके सो टू इंटू फोर्टी प्लस टेन फिफ्टी सेंटीमीटर टू इंटू फिफ्टी हंड्रेड सेंटीमीटर दिस इज द पेरीमीटर ऑफ दिस गिवन रेक्टेंगल पेरीमीटर ऑफ गिवन ट्राइंगल कैन यू आइडेंटिफाई दिस टाइप ऑफ ट्राइंगल इज इट अस ट्राइंगल और इक्विलेटरल ट्राइंगल I think you are saying isosceles triangle. Yes, yes, it is an isosceles triangle because the two sides of this triangle are equal, and the third side is different from the rest two sides. Okay, so perimeter, perimeter of given isosceles triangle of given isosceles triangle is. Thirty centimeter plus thirty centimeter plus forty centimeter. Thirty plus thirty sixty plus forty hundred centimeter. We calculated the perimeters of all the figures. Now the question, the question says, what do you infer from the answers? If you see, all the answers are same. Hundred centimeter, hundred centimeter, hundred centimeter. Okay, so this you infer that you know no matter what the shape is, no matter what is the length of each side of the shape, the perimeter is same of all the given figures. Okay, moving down to the last question of this exercise. So the last question says, a meat by nine square paving slabs, each side of half meter. He lays them in a form of square. Nine square से छोटे-छोटे slabs हैं, ठीक है? One of the nine looks like this, and he makes these nine arrange in a square. Okay, so one, two, three, four, five. Six, seven, eight, and nine. So something like this, he arranges. Okay, the figure of of this is also given in textbook. Now it's asking what is the perimeter of his arrangement. See the side of you know each unit cell. एक जो ये paving slab है, उसका एक side है half meter. तो सारे साइड्स क्योंकि स्क्वायर है तो सारे साइड्स हाफ मीटर होंगे हाफ मीटर हाफ मीटर हाफ मीटर आर यू गेटिंग ओके नाउ ही इज आस्किंग फॉर यू नो द क्वेश्चन इज आस्किंग पेरीमीटर ऑफ हिज अरेंजमेंट तो यानी ये होगा 0.5 मैं हाफ को 0.5 लिख सकती हूं 0.5 0.5 0.5 सिमिलरली ठीक है तो ये ये एक साइड है स्क्वायर का दैट इज 1.5 So 1.5 meter is one side of square. Can I find the perimeter? So that is perimeter of a square is number of sides. One, two, three, four. Because square has four sides, a number of sides into length of each side. That is 1.5 meter. So four. पेरीमीटर ऑफ हिस अरेजमेंट इफ यू वॉन्ट टू कैलकुलेट यू कैन कैलकुलेट लाइक दिस वन पॉइंट फाइव तो ये भी वन पॉइंट फाइव होगा ये भी वन पॉइंट फाइव मीटर होगा और ये भी वन पॉइंट फाइव मीटर होगा If you add one point five five times, I mean four times. Sorry, four times because it is a square. So five four is a twenty. One two three four five six six meter. Clear? Now, Sherry, हो गया उसके कोई friend अब नहीं थी, है ना? Does not like his arrangement. She gets him to lay them out like a cross. तो वो जो nine slabs हैं, ऐसा arrangement इसको अच्छा नहीं लगा तो उसने क्या किया कि क्रॉस की तरह इसको अरेंज कर दिया उसका भी अरेंजमेंट टेक्स्ट बुक में कुछ ऐसा दिया है 
Suppose this is a one slab, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Okay, so nine slabs are given. Now you observe. Okay, although these all squares are having same length of each side, ha huh, na? If you if you feel like that, you know these are uh, irregular, so this is my drawing error. But you know you consider them. Okay, so you have here point five or a point five half plus half. What will be? One. तो इसको मैं वन मीटर लिख दू ये साइड भी ऐसा ही होगा ये हाफ और ये हाफ वन मीटर ये क्या है दिस इज हाफ यानी पॉइंट फाइव मीटर ठीक है इस तरह से करते जाना आगे देखो ये पॉइंट फाइव ये पॉइंट फाइव तो वन मीटर हो गया ये पॉइंट फाइव ये पॉइंट फाइव वन मीटर दिस इज पॉइंट फाइव दिस इज वन मीटर This is one meter. This is point five. This is one meter. This is point five. Oh, I mean one meter. Point five, point five. One meter. And here will be point five. Understand? Like this. Now, see. We have done a difficult and complex question. Exercise ten point one. In this exercise, we did the first question in the last sub question. We did something like this. Understand? इसका हमने पेरीमीटर किया तो ये तो बहुत आसान है ठीक है मैंने बता दिया अब इसका पेरीमीटर निकालने के लिए लेट अस कंसीडर दिस पॉइंट ए गोइंग टू द राइट साइड ऐसा 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 करके कैलकुलेट करते जाते हैं ठीक है चल सो पेरीमीटर पेरीमीटर इज इक्वल टू पॉइंट फाइव मीटर प्लस वन मीटर प्लस वन मीटर प्लस पॉइंट फाइव मीटर ठीक है पॉइंट फाइव मीटर यानी हाफ मीटर ही लिख रही हूँ ना प्लस वन मीटर प्लस वन मीटर प्लस पॉइंट फाइव मीटर प्लस वन मीटर प्लस वन मीटर प्लस पॉइंट फाइव मीटर प्लस वन मीटर एंड प्लस वन मीटर ओके सो सी अब जितने भी वन है पहले सारे ऐड कर लेते हैं वन टू थ्री फोर फाइव सिक्स सेवन एट तो एट मीटर ओके पॉइंट फाइव कितने हैं वन टू थ्री फोर फोर है दो पॉइंट फाइव को मिलाकर वन बनता है दूसरे दो को मिलाकर वन बनता है तो टोटल टू मीटर हुआ समझे चार दिया ना पॉइंट फाइव प्लस पॉइंट फाइव प्लस पॉइंट फाइव प्लस पॉइंट फाइव तो ये पॉइंट फाइव प्लस पॉइंट फाइव जीरो पॉइंट फाइव प्लस जीरो पॉइंट फाइव इस वन मीटर अगेन जीरो पॉइंट फाइव प्लस जीरो पॉइंट फाइव इस वन मीटर वन मीटर प्लस वन मीटर टू मीटर यहाँ पे अरेंजमेंट दिया उसका पेरीमीटर टेन मीटर है अवनीत ने जो अरेंजमेंट दिया उसका पेरीमीटर सिक्स मीटर है ठीक है तो अब नेक्स्ट सी क्वेश्चन क्या पूछता है कि विच हैज द ग्रेटर पेरीमीटर किसका ग्रेटर पेरीमीटर है द अरेंजमेंट गिवन बाय शेरी ठीक है जो है टेन मीटर ठीक है नेक्स्ट अवनीत वॉन्डर्स ओके If there was another way of getting an even greater perimeter, अब नीत ने बोला यार शेरी ने तो मेरे से ज़्यादा perimeter वाला arrangement किया, अब मुझे इससे भी ज़्यादा चाहिए, तो क्या आप कोई arrangement बता सकते हो? तो एक arrangement हम ऐसा consider कर सकते हैं rectangle का square का कर दिया, cross का कर दिया, rectangle का करके देखते हैं, nine slabs है, और मुझे rectangle में चाहिए होती है length और breadth और मुझे ऐसा चाहिए कि लेंथ ब्रेथ से बड़ा हो तो हम वन टू थ्री फोर फाइव समझ आ रहा है तो ये ये जो पांच है ना मतलब रेक्टेंगल इस तरह से बनाना है 
कि उसकी लेंथ बड़ी हो ब्रेथ छोटा हो ठीक है तो जैसे वन टू थ्री फोर और कैसे अरेंज कर सकते हैं रेक्टेंगल में वन टू थ्री फोर देखो अब तुम रेक्टेंगल बनाना चाहते हो तुम्हें आठ चाहिए लेकिन एक एक और है एक और ब्लॉक बच रहा है तो तुम मतलब किस तरह से अरेंज कर सकते हो मतलब तुम समझ रहे हो आई एम आस्किंग यू टू मेक अनदर अरेंजमेंट तो मैंने रेक्टेंगल बोला बट यू नो कैन यू मेक रेक्टेंगल इफ यू आर थिंकिंग दैट स्क्वायर बना लिया क्रॉस लाइन बना लिया क्रॉस में बना दिया तो अब रेक्टेंगल में हो सकता है चेक इट आउट तो अब रेक्टेंगल ना अरेंज करके लेट्स यू नो टेक दिस काइंड ऑफ अरेंजमेंट देखो इसको तुम कैसे कर सकते हो ये पॉइंट फाइव ये पॉइंट फाइव ये पॉइंट फाइव ये पॉइंट फाइव ऐसे ये पॉइंट फाइव ये पॉइंट फाइव सिमिलरली इधर पॉइंट फाइव पॉइंट फाइव पॉइंट फाइव पॉइंट फाइव पॉइंट फाइव पांच बार हुआ इधर दो बार इधर चार बार इधर एक बार इधर पॉइंट फाइव एक ये पॉइंट फाइव एक ये पॉइंट फाइव सबको ऐड कर तो ऐसे पॉइंट फाइव करके सब ऐड मत करने लगना इसको पहले यहीं पे ऐड कर दो फोर टाइम्स पॉइंट फाइव है यानी जीरो पॉइंट फाइव इंटू फोर फाइव फोर जार ट्वेंटी फोर जीरो जार जीरो टू तो ये जो है ये है टू मीटर सिमिलरली ये दो बार है पॉइंट फाइव इंटू टू फाइव टू जार टेन टू जीरो जार जीरो प्लस वन वन नहीं होगा तो ये जो है ये हो जाएगा वन मीटर ये वाला साइन पॉइंट फाइव कितनी बार है वन टू थ्री फोर फाइव इंटू फाइव 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 जार ट्वेंटी फाइव फाइव जीरो जार जीरो प्लस टू 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 पॉइंट फाइव तो ये जो लेंथ है ये हो गई टू पॉइंट फाइव मीटर अब देखो ये वाली जो है ये है पॉइंट फाइव फिर ये वाली जो साइड है हॉरिजॉन्टल ये पॉइंट फाइव और ये जो वर्टिकल है ये भी पॉइंट फाइव तो अब जब मुझे इसका पेरीमीटर निकालना है ये वाले अरेंजमेंट का तो मैं कैसे निकालूंगी पेरीमीटर इज इक्वल टू ये वाले पॉइंट से राइट हैंड साइड की तरफ स्टार्ट करते हैं टू मीटर प्लस ये जो नीचे जा रहा है ये पॉइंट फाइव मीटर प्लस ऐसा जो हॉरिजोंटल जा रहा है पॉइंट फाइव मीटर प्लस ये जो नीचे आ रहा है पॉइंट फाइव मीटर प्लस ये पूरा टू पॉइंट फाइव मीटर प्लस ये ऊपर जा रहा है वन मीटर प्लस बस यहाँ पे पॉइंट पे आ गए तो बस समझ आ रहा है तो अब इसको ऐड करेंगे देखो पॉइंट फाइव प्लस पॉइंट फाइव क्या होता है वन मीटर वन मीटर प्लस पॉइंट फाइव क्या होगा वन पॉइंट फाइव ठीक है तो टू मीटर प्लस वन पॉइंट फाइव प्लस टू पॉइंट फाइव प्लस वन मीटर में इधर लिख देती हूँ ठीक है तो टू पॉइंट जीरो वन पॉइंट फाइव टू पॉइंट फाइव वन पॉइंट जीरो फाइव प्लस फाइव टेन टू थ्री फोर फाइव सिक्स सेवन तो सेवन मीटर सेवन मीटर तो क्या ये अरेंजमेंट सही हो सकता है तुम चेक कर बराबर ही किया ना अच्छा नहीं देखो दो रह गए रह गए रह गए रुको 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 लेट एस डू द कैलकुलेशन अगेन टू से स्टार्ट करते टू मीटर लिया पॉइंट फाइव पॉइंट फाइव वन मीटर हो गया ठीक है फिर पॉइंट फाइव टू पॉइंट जीरो वन पॉइंट जीरो पॉइंट फाइव टू पॉइंट फाइव और वन पॉइंट जीरो फाइव प्लस फाइव टेन टू थ्री फोर फाइव सिक्स सेवन सेवन मीटर हुआ अब ये सेवन मीटर इसको टेन मीटर से ज्यादा जा नहीं रहा तो तुम ये अरेंजमेंट भी नहीं ले सकते हो ऐसा कोई अरेंजमेंट ऐसा कोई अरेंजमेंट कि जिसमें यू नो ये टेन मीटर से या इवन ग्रेटर तो इवन ग्रेटर में सेवन मीटर के अलावा यू नो सेवन मीटर अब इवन ग्रेटर मुझे नहीं पता कि वो उसके हिसाब से बोल रहा है बट यू नो लेट सपोज कि टेन मीटर टारगेट है तो टेन से ज्यादा कैसे हो सकता है ठीक है सो यू नो लेटेस्ट चेक इट आउट तो दिस वॉज वन एजम्पन तो आपको ऐसे एक 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 करके ट्राई करना है अरेंज करना है और फाइंड करना है तो जब जब तुम्हें आंसर पता चलता है तो प्लीज शेयर मी इन कमेंट बॉक्स की कैसा अरेंजमेंट कर सकते हो यू कैन शेयर द पिक्चर ओके एंड लेट मी नो
okay so in the next lecture i would be discussing about that figure not wasting much time here okay you you consider and if you get you know more perimeter you arrange in such a way that you would be getting you know more than 10 meter 10 meter se zyada perimeter mile aisa kuch ho sakta hai you hit, you know you do hit and try method and you let me know by sharing in comment or you know by sending the mail in email given in description box moving down to the extra questions i would be providing you some extra questions with answers which you have to solve before attending the next video lecture okay so here you observe the extra questions regarding you know this chapter and you know these are basically on the basis of exercise 10.1 okay so i have provided you few questions along with answers in case if you you know find any difficulty in solving these questions or you know you are not getting the answers which are mentioned below you know you can directly put a comment or you can send me the mail regarding this in the description uh, you know mail regarding on the mail address given in the description okay so for today this much only in the next lecture we would be starting about you know learning about the area and the exercise related to that